Finally, I have received this parcel from Yuyito which contains a single board computer. Let's not wait any longer and dive into the unboxing. The box looks pretty big, so I'm curious. Could there be something extra inside? Let's find out together. I didn't expect this many items, anyway let's go through each one of them and then we will start the assembling and testing. The Yuyuto X1 SPC is an x86 based single board computer launched by Yuyuto.com. It supports full featured versions of Windows 10, Windows 11 and Linux which is designed for the AIoT, artificial internet of things and automation market. The hood of the Yuito board is powered by the Intel Celeron 11th generation Jasper Lake N5105 processor operating at a base frequency of 2.0 GHz and capable of boosting up to 2.9 GHz. This powerful yet efficient chip is designed to handle a variety of tasks making it ideal for single board computing with its quad core architecture, higher clock speeds and impressive energy efficiency it offers excellent performance for multitasking, media playback, and AI applications. Whether you are building a media server, a DIY project, or exploring IoT applications, this processor ensures smooth and reliable performance. This is equipped with an integrated GPU, VPU, and NPU, making it a powerhouse for both everyday tasks and advanced applications. The GPU graphics processing unit handles 4K video playback and smooth visuals for media and lightweight gaming. While the VPU vision processing unit accelerates computer vision tasks like object detection and image processing. On top of that, the NPU neural processing unit is designed for AI and machine learning, enabling real-time tasks like facial recognition and predictive analytics. Together, these features make this board perfect for projects that combine media, AI, and automation, offering both performance and efficiency in one compact device. It supports Wi-Fi 5 with Bluetooth 5.0 and Wi-Fi 6 with Bluetooth 5.2 expansion via M2 slot, which is optional. Additionally, it also supports 4G LTE modules like the EC20 or EC25 with a 4G adapter board, making it versatile for IoT and mobile applications where wired or standard Wi-Fi networks may not be available. There is a lot baked into this single board computer, so let's take this beautiful piece of hardware out of the box and physically go through all its interfaces. This single board computer also features RJ45 Gigabit Ethernet, providing a stable and super fast wired internet connection. With speeds up to 1 Gbps, it's perfect for tasks that demand low latency and high reliability, such as online streaming, file transfers, and running servers. Right next to it, you will find USB 2.0 and USB 3.0 slots, ready to connect your devices seamlessly. Two interfaces share 1.45 amps. This is for the fan and you can already see it's connected. These are the GPIOs, SPI, I2C, UART3, UART2, UART1, UART USB2 and USB1. All these pins are clearly labeled. This one serves multiple purposes. Pins 1 to 3 are the pins that control the LED lights. Pin 5 is the power signal, low level active. Pin 6 is the reset signal low level active. This port is for connecting an external speaker, a power key, 3.5 headphone jack. It has an onboard 3 watt power amplifier matching 8 ohm speakers. Audio can be output to TV via HDMI. HDMI 2.0 4K at 60Hz. It also has a micro HDMI 2.0 4K at 60Hz. This is incredible. It means it supports multiple screens. There is also MIPI FPC interface that supports Yoyito Multi-Touch MIPI 7th LCD module 1024x600. 
DSI Display Serial Interface is a high-speed serial interface standard used to connect display modules such as LCDs to host processors like single board computers or microcontrollers. Two LEDs, 12 volts DC socket, recommended power adopter is 12 volts and 3 amps or you can also use a 2-pin power socket. A reset button, microphone, micro SD and this is for the NFC antenna which allows data transmission with phones and card readers. This is compatible with Android and iOS phones. On the bottom side, this is the SATA stands for Serial Advanced Technology Attachment. It is a standard interface used for connecting storage devices like hard drives, solid state drives and optical drives. This one I already explained. This is for the MIPI7 LCD. This M2 M key slot is for NVMe and SATA SSD. This is for connecting RTC real-time clock. This is for mic. Finally, this is the M2 e key slot designed for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or 4G LTE modules. Well, right now I don't have a 4G LTE module, but I have this Wi-Fi Bluetooth board with dual antennas. It features the RTL 8852BE, a powerful Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 combo module from Realtek. Widely used in modern laptops and devices for fast wireless connectivity and advanced Bluetooth capabilities. Apart from this, here is a sturdy metal casing. A tablet PC stand for the LCD which is also suitable for the Galaxy Tape P7000, BlackBerry Playbook and all 7-inch tablet PCs. A lot of screws and finally this USB-C type interface board which we can use with this computer for performing I2C, SPI and UART communication with external sensors and controllers. I think this is some sort of expansion board. That's all about the parts and now let's go ahead and start the assembling. For now, I'll use this other LCD instead of the MIPI7 LCD because this LCD is quite small and I generally prefer using larger LCDs. However, if you want to use this LCD, you can. Everything about how to connect this LCD and how to install its drivers is explained in detail on the Udo wiki page. As you can see the computer has turned on, now we need to complete some initial settings, so let's follow the on-screen instructions. We are now on the desktop and before exploring further, let's connect it to Wi-Fi. For now, I will connect this computer to my mobile hotspot. The internet browsing experience on this computer is absolutely amazing. Right now, I am on Yuyito's wiki page. You can find all the information related to this computer on this page, including specifications, interfaces, a getting started tutorial, detailed information about accessories, windows and how to install drivers everything you need is available here i still have a lot to explore anyway let's open youtube and check the audio as well as the video quality now you can control your electrical loads and 
monitor sensors by sending a message from any cell phone using the Arduino and GSM 800L module. If you want to take your long distance relationship to the next level, this video is for you. With these smart bracelets, you can send love signals to each other from anywhere in the world. You can customize this bracelet. It might seem a bit complicated, but if you watch my last six videos, you will get a clear idea of things with you on the gauge in the application. But when this is absolutely mind blowing. I also updated the windows, installed the Chrome browser, and also fitted the single board computer into a metallic casing. Now it looks really nice. If you turn on the computer and press the F7 key on the keyboard, you will enter the BIOS setup. You can configure everything as per your preference. If you have used a computer or laptop before, I don't think you will face any difficulties here. The gaming experience on this single board computer is absolutely amazing. I don't feel any noticeable lag. I've been using this computer for the past few hours and it feels just like using my laptop. I've also used flash drives and even my 1TB SSD with it. So far, I haven't faced any issues. There is still a lot for me to explore like how to use its GPIOs and how to communicate with external devices through UART and SPI. Very soon, I'll make another video. So, that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.